All right, we are here with Nancy Fotenhauer, an advisor for the McCain campaign and a spokesperson, and also a longtime uh, hero of mine in the conservative Aww. movement <laughs> for women. Uh, she's done a bunch of great things on the right, and I'm glad to have her on our side. Um, last night, pretty cool night for the GOP, pretty cool night for uh, conservative women. Uh, what was your, your take on it? Oh, she hit it out of the ballpark. I mean, it was it was funny because the last few days when the kind of establishment, establishment media has been running all over the place trying to dismiss this woman's achievements and, and basically denigrate her talent, they kept saying to me, aren't you worried about the big speech? And I said, no, I'm thrilled because your guys' coverage is going to make everybody tune in and she is going to hit it out of the ballpark. And she did. The, you know, the American people got to see why we love her and why she's someone that we were thrilled to have on the ticket. Well, she's quite the performer. I thought all week, I was like, this girl's going to deliver. You guys wait. Um, I was really, really impressed. And I think a lot of people will be, independents as well. Do you think she still has the ability to reach out to independent women? I, I think she does, and I think she has a very strong capability to reach out to Reagan Democrats. I mean, she's just, she is a, a, a real person with a compelling story and an understanding of their needs and, and what matters to them. And she's, she's a patriot. She's in favor of a smaller government. She has a strong faith, um, and, she, but she, and she works with anybody to get the job done. And, and so I think she, she's not even the secret weapon now. She's just the <laughs> weapon. <laughs> well, and since you're an economic conservative and, and you know this stuff, tell me a little bit about um, what she said about lower taxes and small businesses and what McCain might say tonight as far as economic issues. I think we should expect Senator McCain to really lay out the vision for this country moving forward. I don't think we should expect it to be too much of a, you know, I don't expect him to do what Obama did. If you remember Obama's speech, the whole last half of it was heavy contrast or negative. I don't expect that to come from Senator McCain. I think that Governor Palin did such a fantastic job last night that he can really just focus on the future. And he'll go through and he'll talk about how you never raise taxes in an economic downturn. Doesn't matter if you're Republican or Democrat, the laws of economics just don't support that. And he and you know he might go through things like the raising taxes on raising income taxes, raising taxes on the wages subject to the payroll tax, how his health care plan um, is is a, a, the equivalent of about three thousand dollar tax per family. Um, what's that going to do to small businesses? Things like that. Well, and one last thing. Uh, some some whispering that I've heard from the from the MSM uh, from the mainstream media <laughs> this week is is a little bit after being quite mean themselves for a week or saying that was just too mean last night. Uh, yeah. The Republicans were so mean. Uh, what do you think of that? And is there a danger of sort of undercutting the message at the at the convention? Oh, but I mean, they're they're just they don't know what to do. They're completely desperate. They don't know what to make of a Sarah Palin. I mean, and and they don't understand her appeal. So they they keep kind of looking at it. Uh, you know, they, they, in this reptili reptilian kind of distant manner and going, I, this doesn't make sense to me. Like, guess what? It makes sense to the rest of the country. We love her. She's exactly the type of leader we want. Well, I think it's definitely making sense to people, and I'm glad she got up on that stage and knocked it out of the park. Knocked it out of the park. <laughs> yes. Well, thank you for being with us, and I'm looking forward to McCain tonight. My pleasure, Mary Catherine. Delighted to be All right. here. Thanks very much, Nancy. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs>